Hello friends and family and welcome to my channel. Now it's time for all my conifers, my uh, evergreen conifers to uh, get out on the bench. The heat in here in the greenhouse is uh, many days it's over 20 degrees and it's spring and that's really not good for the conifers. If any one of you uh, wonders, do I need to keep my uh, conifer bonsai in uh, sheltered in a greenhouse during the winter? The answer to this is no. I keep all my uh, bonsai in here in the winter uh, just because uh, I like it. Uh, it's so easy to take them from the bench uh, to the working table, do the work and put them back on the bench. So. I have prepared a bonsai bench, uh, full southern facing, uh, that's new for the year. Uh, I will keep them there until the spring growth uh, spurt has uh, ended, uh, just to give them that extra energy and strength for the future. So uh, every year when I uh, move my uh, trees out, I take them a spin on the turntable and uh, use for a uh, future reference. I will work my way through uh, the trees, starting with the most refined ones and uh, going down in development uh, phase. So the first tree is a Chinese juniper. Uh, it's my only legacy tree. It was uh, developed by a very well uh, known bonsai artist that uh, tragically died a few years ago. And I got the chance to take over this uh, wonderful tree. I got it in 2019 and according to uh, the seller, uh, it was 18 years old. But I assume it's 19, so I call it the Millennium Juniper. When the tree came to me, it was in a very, very small pot and in very, very bad shape. So I have revived it during the years. It used to have a very big uh, root here, but now it's just shoddy. And yeah, not that bad. Uh, Junipers tend to grow uh, looking like cauliflower if you don't maintain them all the time. And uh, this is actually the time to do that. So even if I move it out to the bench now, you will see it uh, inside the greenhouse uh, in a video in a near future. I will bring it in and uh, style it and uh, thin it out. So if you want to see that subscribe to my channel. So this is a juniper, Procumbens Nana, that I have trained myself the last two years. It's one of the most viewed uh, trees on YouTube, so I'm sure you have seen it before. Anyway, this uh, tree has been uh, restyled uh, in the spring and the video is out if you want to check uh, the process. So it's all ready to go out on the bench. So this is the IKEA Hack Spruce Forest. There are several uh, videos about this tree on my channel if you want to check it up. Uh, three years in development now and uh, spring buds is uh, slowly starting to swell. And this tree goes out to the bench. This one is heavy. <laughs> so, so heavy. Right there is nice. So uh, last year's uh, big investment, uh, Japanese white pine grafted on uh, Japanese black pine rootstock. 15 to 20 years old approximately. So 
So the next tree is my uh, first Yamadori. It was collected by me for four years ago, maybe five, I'm not sure. Uh, during the winter it has been in the corner and I haven't been able to uh, look at it, it properly. Now when I took it out, there's a quite bad uh, scale infectation, so I will uh, put it out on the bench now, uh, treat it with the uh, neem oil and uh, soap uh, mix. So next up is the first tree I ever bought uh, with the intention to grow as a bonsai. There are quite a lot of uh, beginner mistakes in uh, how I have developed uh, this tree. So the focus for now is just uh, uh, backbudding. And uh, the last two years I have just candled very very hard to get the uh, growth closer to the trunk. And it has been very successful, so uh, I'm sure that this will be a nice tree in the future. And it always feels fantastic to still have my first tree in the collection. This will always be a big uh, value to me. So this is my very first uh, IKEA spruce uh, ever and uh, yeah I've learned a lot uh, from all my mistakes on this tree. One being that uh, they are really 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 hard to wire. So uh, better grow for the small branches than the big ones because they never stay where you want them. So uh, this one goes out to the bench, but uh, within a near future I will wire it up so it looks a little bit better. So next up is uh, seed sown uh, Japanese black pines. Uh, it's a very slow process to develop into bonsai and uh, for now it's just a uh, truck trunk thickening that's uh, the plan for uh, this tree. So this is uh, black pine number two. It has uh, thickened up a little bit more than the last one but still a lot of development and time left to spend on this tree. So this is the last uh, seed sown uh, black pine and uh, it's uh, two years younger than the other ones and the special with this one is uh, I've been told that uh, this is uh, offspring of the very famous uh, emperor uh, garden pines in Japan. I don't know if it's true but I like to uh, think that it is so I call this my emperor pine. So that was the last one, uh, let's take a look on my uh, few left uh, conifers that I will uh, keep in the greenhouse for a little bit longer. So this is the large tree I uh, got last year and uh, styled uh, in this uh, winter. It's budding out really really nice. I do believe that this uh, tree needs to be protected from frost now when it's bad out, so this is the exception, one of the tree that will not make it to the bench today. So this is a Norfolk uh, Island Pine. Uh, in Sweden they are sold as indoor spruces by thousands. And I haven't seen one person succeed with them uh, growing them indoors. So uh, I got this one in really really bad shape uh, two years ago 
it was kind of a bet with a friend that said that you cannot make them uh, live for a long. So after two winters, I would say that uh, he was wrong. So this is my little Dawn Redwood uh, forest. It still have a lot of uh, old uh, foliage, but there are a lot of it uh, coming out now. So uh, this tree is uh, less hardy to my area. So another one that will stay a little bit longer on the bench. So that's my uh, collection of uh, bonsai and future bonsai in different stage and development. This is an occasion I do every year to uh, get uh, photo shots of my uh, trees. And uh, in that way I'll be able to show you the process, uh, the progress over a long time period. So if you are curious about how these trees uh, develop in the future, please subscribe to my channel. We have a wonderful day. It's almost 20 degrees in the greenhouse. Uh, I'm gonna leave you there and start to uh, get the old foliage off my uh, Dawn Redwood for forest. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, stay safe, bye.